Imagine crossing the Atlantic in 90 minutes, or reaching the other side of the world in a handful of hours. It sounds like science fiction, but hypersonic technology is poised to make this a reality. While pioneers like the Concorde and Boeing 2707 set the stage, a company named Hermius is blazing a new trail with their groundbreaking engine, the Chimera. Get ready to dive into the technical marvel that is the Chimera, and how it could change aviation and even national defense forever. The supersonic Concorde was a marvel of engineering, but it was ultimately limited by its technology and high costs. In the 1970s, Boeing's ambitious 2707 project aimed even higher, but never made it off the drawing board. Still, the desire for hypersonic travel never truly died. It lived on in the minds of engineers. And that brings us to Hermius. Founded in 2018, Hermius brought together experts from SpaceX and Blue Origin. They weren't content with incremental progress. Their solution? The Chimera engine, a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC design. Unlike the complex scramjets powering experimental NASA aircraft like the X-43, the Chimera builds upon existing jet engine technology offering a more practical and affordable path to hypersonic flight with Hermes Quarter Horse Mark I. The Chimera engine leverages a turbine-based combined cycle design. This approach builds upon existing turbojet technology, offering a more practical and readily achievable solution. At lower speeds, the Chimera operates as a conventional turbojet engine, compressing incoming air, mixing it with fuel, and generating thrust through combustion. But starting with a well-understood and reliable engine architecture, Hermius establishes a strong base for further optimization. Traditional turbojet engines encounter performance limitations around Mach 2 to Mach 3 due to increasing air temperatures and result in stress on engine components. Hermius addresses this with a proprietary pre-cooler system that significantly reduces the temperature of the incoming airflow, allowing the turbojet component to operate efficiently at much higher speeds than standard designs. As the aircraft approaches Mach 3, the Chimera seamlessly switches into ramjet mode. The sheer speed of the aircraft compresses the air within the engine, and when fuel is injected and ignited, the Chimera produces the powerful thrust needed to sustain hypersonic flight. A key advantage of the Chimera is its self-contained design. Unlike some experimental hypersonic vehicles that require rocket boosters for initial acceleration, a Chimera-powered aircraft can take off and land conventionally. This translates to significant reductions in operational complexity and potential cost savings. The extreme temperatures and pressures of hypersonic flight demand advanced materials. And Hermius addresses this by employing heat-resistant alloys like Inconel 718 along with cutting-edge 3D printing techniques. This enables the creation of complex engine components optimized for the unique stresses of the hypersonic environment. The Chimera's design represents a significant step forward. By combining proven jet engine technology with innovative solutions and advanced materials, Hermius demonstrates a viable and potentially more scalable path towards reliable hypersonic flight. The Chimera's genius lies in its ability to marry extreme performance with real-world practicality. It's about reusability, cost-effectiveness, and adaptability. This focus sets it apart from many experimental hypersonic concepts. Instead of just chasing headline-grabbing speed figures, Hermius is aiming to make hypersonic flight sustainable and adaptable to a wide range of uses. Picture the impact on industries like rapid cargo transport, where time-sensitive deliveries could be revolutionized, or on national defense, where hypersonic systems could provide a new strategic edge. The key to this lies in the Chimera's reusability. Unlike systems relying on expendable rockets or complex scramjet engines, the Chimera powers an aircraft that takes off and lands conventionally. This translates directly to lower operational costs 
and the potential for higher flight tempos. Coupled with Hermius's strategy of leveraging proven turbojet technology and innovating in key areas like the pre-cooler, they aim to bring down the traditionally exorbitant costs associated with hypersonic development. Of course, pushing an aircraft past Mach 5 generates immense heat and stresses that would melt or deform conventional materials. Hermius meticulously addresses these challenges through advanced 3D printing, allowing them to create intricate engine components that couldn't be made with traditional methods. And through the integration of heat-resistant alloys, like in Connell 718. The Chimera represents a significant leap forward. Hermius demonstrates that hypersonic flight doesn't have to be confined to the realm of one-off experiments or budget-breaking military programs. By combining smart engineering, a focus on reusability, and a vision for broader applications, they're working towards a future where hypersonic technology could transform the way we travel, conduct logistics, and even approach national defense. The Quarter Horse Mark I isn't a single aircraft, but rather an evolving series of prototypes designed to validate the underlying Chimera engine technology and pave the way for the future of hypersonic flight. The iterative approach is at the heart of Hermius's rapid development philosophy. This aircraft, while not intended for flight, played a crucial role in proving the Chimera engine concept. In partnership with the U.S. Air Force, Hermius conducted rigorous ground tests at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex. These tests focused on validating the engine's performance across different operating conditions, as well as ensuring the flight control systems and software were robust enough to handle the stresses of hypersonic travel. Building upon the success of the Mark Zero, Hermius moved swiftly to the Quarter Horse Mark I. This more advanced prototype is specifically designed for autonomous takeoff and landing demonstrations. The Mark I is undergoing active flight testing with the ambitious goal of shattering existing speed records previously set by aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird. These tests not only chase headline-grabbing speed figures, but also gather crucial data on the aircraft's handling characteristics and controllability at the edge of its performance envelope. The rapid pace of the Quarter Horse program speaks directly to the advantages of the Chimera engine design. By starting with the foundation of proven turbojet technology and focusing innovative solutions on key hurdles like the pre-cooler, Hermius avoids the complexities and extended development timeframes associated with more exotic propulsion systems like scramjets. This allows them to quickly build new aircraft variants, incorporate lessons learned from testing, and optimize their technology. Each quarter horse milestone isn't just about setting records, though that's certainly exciting. The data and experience gained feed directly into the development of future aircraft. The lessons from the quarter horse translate to the defense-focused dark horse concept and ultimately to the ambitious Halcyon vision for commercial hypersonic passenger travel. Whether it's military reconnaissance, logistics, or revolutionizing global travel, the Quarter Horse program is laying the literal groundwork for the future of hypersonic flight. The Quarter Horse Mark I is the star of the show, an unmanned test machine built to push the limits of speed. Think of it as the SR-71 Blackbird's cooler, faster cousin, except it can actually land back at the airport. Now that's what we call breaking records. Then there's Dark Horse, the stealthy one. The hypersonic drone is all about keeping an eye out for anything fishy happening around the world. Imagine needing to get intel on a situation halfway across the globe. With Dark Horse, it's like having a super fast spy plane that can get there and back in a flash. Finally, we have Halcyon. This is Hermius's vision for the future of passenger travel. The potential of hypersonic technology extends far beyond faster travel or package delivery. As China aggressively develops its own hypersonic missile capabilities, the United States recognizes the urgent need to maintain and advance its own technological edge in this arena. Hypersonic missiles pose a unique challenge to traditional defense systems due to their extreme speed, maneuverability, and unpredictable flight paths. The Quarter Horse program, while primarily focused on aircraft development, 
holds significant implications for national security. The advancements made in the Chimera engine's reusability, speed, and control systems could directly translate to the rapid development of defensive countermeasures against hypersonic threats. The ability to quickly intercept or neutralize an incoming hypersonic weapon could be a game-changer in potential future conflicts. Furthermore, the quarter horse's potential for an autonomous flight and rapid deployment opens up possibilities for the U.S. military. Envision a hypersonic drone launched on demand capable of reaching critical areas of the globe far faster than any conventional aircraft. This could be vital for intelligence gathering, surveillance, or even rapid response capabilities in contested zones. The hypersonic revolution isn't just about commercial disruption. It's about reshaping the global defense landscape. The successes of the Quarter Horse program have the potential to place the United States at the forefront of this critical technology, ensuring preparedness in an increasingly complex geopolitical environment. Will we see sleek hypersonic airliners taking us across continents by the 2030s? Or will the primary focus fall on hypersonic weapons dominating the military sphere? That's the multi-billion dollar question facing not just aerospace engineers, but policymakers and society as a whole. The path hypersonic technology takes will have profound implications for the way we travel, conduct trade, and even how future conflicts might unfold. Stay tuned for updates and remember to like and subscribe and check out our other videos.